so that we can understand why we are doing port forwarding right now. Here's a basic concept that is basically the same with every single router. It's just that we are using an edge router. So if you're going to do port forwarding, maybe you are hosting a server inside your network here like mine, and you want some of your clients from the outside can directly access that one through the internet going inside your network and access the resources that you have on your server. It depends what kind of services you're running out there. Okay, so in this case, it's basically uh, my clients inside my network can directly access that one, but my clients from the outside cannot. That's where your port forwarding configuration comes in because my IP address for my uh, server here is 172.22.220.103 which my clients from the inside can directly access, but my clients from the outside cannot directly access because this is a private IP address. So we need to configure our edge router or any router you have there so that you will use your public IP on your WAN interface to go directly and access your server. That's the basic concept of port forwarding. So anywhere you are, as long as you have internet, you can directly access the services inside your server. So let's go ahead, configure our edge router, and I'm going to show you how you are going to do it. Okay, so I just want to show you my public IP address that I'm currently connected in. Just go ahead and type uh, what is my IP on your browser and you will have it like mine. So I don't want to show you my full IP address, just uh, part of it so that you can see. And I'm going to access that one. Um, basically what you can see right now is my router because it's already port forwarded which is an edge max. And I can directly go ahead and log in here and access my router anywhere I am. But um, since my router is already port forwarded, I'm going to port forward another thing, which is the access through the cloud key. Okay, so I choose cloud key as the example because um, it's a web application. And as you can see it here, that's a private IP that I use to access the cloud key. And there you go, 172.22.0.103. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I wanna uh, go ahead into my router, log in. Uh, like what I've mentioned earlier, you can you can port forward any services that you have in your LAN. Uh, in, just, in this case, it's just that um, I have the cloud key, all right? So I'll go back there. 172.103. I want to port forward the um, Unify controller because there are two portals here, the controller in the cloud key. So like that. As you can see right now, I have a port that says 8443. So this is the login page of that. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to my router, go to firewall NAT. Then you can see it here, port forwarding tab. Select that... Um, the port of your WAN. For me, it's PPPOE, and then my LAN is ETH0, and then I'm going to add a rule, 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 I, I don't know, rule, rule. So that's 8443. I'm just going to do both. Then I'm going to copy the IP address of the cloud key. Copy that. Then I'm going to paste it here. That's the IP address of your server, in case, and then forward to port, I'm going to use the same port. And then again, description, cloud key, or any services you have, like a web server. Um, it's up to you guys. All right. So I'm just going to put this back to cloud key. All right, cloud key. Then I'm just going to go ahead and apply. So just wait for it. All right, so I'm just go ahead and uh, verify that's the network where my cloud key is plugged in. That's 220. And then this is my WAN connection. You can see my public IP right there. So what I'm going to do is uh, make sure to enable a hairpin so that I can access the public IP inside my network. Okay, so I'll just wait for that one to apply. Okay, it's applied. I'll go back here, refresh this one. You can see that public IP out there and the port 8443. I'm just going to go advanced, 
proceed, then kaboom, that's the login page of the Unify controller. So we are successful in port forwarding. You can see that 8443 and the public IP of my, um, of my router, okay? So another one here that I can show you so that you can see is using my phone so that it's going to use mobile data, which is a really different network that will show us that I'm accessing it from the outside network, all right? So I'm just going to show you my phone. I'm currently recording this one. As you can see, I have a 4G uh, mobile data that is running on my phone. I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi. So that I can show you that you can access it on a different network or outside your network. So I'll just go ahead and open our browser, dial in HTTPS colon slash slash one nine, uh, 122, that's a public IP and then colon 8443. Enter, and then, yup, we have a response. Just wait for it to load up. Then there you go. That's the Unify controller that we can access on our phone uh, that is using mobile data and we can access this one anywhere, okay? So I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. Um, hope to see you in my next video. Let's go ahead and make 500,000 subscribers. It's just a dream, but huh, dreams come true. All right, see you guys.